One of the things I get asked about the most often is about working with and finding art licensing agents. I've been working with my art licensing agent for about 10 years, and I have lots of videos about sort of the pros and cons of working with agents, what you need to know about working with agents. But today I wanted to focus a little bit on helping you find and vet art licensing agents. So in case you're unfamiliar, licensing your work, your artwork, your surface pattern designs, or your illustrations for products is sort of like renting it out. You're basically letting a manufacturer or a retailer use your artwork for a set amount of time based on your contract and you get paid either with a flat fee or with royalties, which is a percentage of sales. So you're getting paid based on how the manufacturer or the retailer is getting paid. So that's art licensing and art licensing agencies focus on licensing the artwork of their represented artists for a variety of products, home decor, stationery, apparel. Um, they work with manufacturers and retailers to negotiate the, these art licensing deals and they take a commission, but they have a wide a variety of contacts. So that can be really helpful. And like I've said, I've dived into the pros and cons and I don't have a strong feeling as to you should definitely try to get an agent or you should work alone. There really are pros and cons of both sides of the story. And as someone who has only licensed her artwork through an agent, I really don't have the full story of what it's like to work without an agent. However, one thing I do know is about finding an agent and about vetting an agent. So today I just wanted to give you a little bit of information about that and provide you with a really, really valuable resource if you are looking for an art licensing agent. On my blog, I've compiled a list, a long list of art licensing agencies. These are agents that specifically focus on licensing artwork. Some of them do some buyouts. Some of them do, you know, might help you find commission work or freelance. Some of them might help you find children's book illustration or editorial illustration. But from what I've picked up, the agencies that I've listed out with all the websites included, and this is more than 50 agencies, um, they primarily focus on art licensing. So there can be bleed over, like I said, but these are mostly about art licensing, these agencies, and you can find that link in the description, head to my blog. You'll find all of these agencies listed out. What can you do with this list? Well, first I suggest that you go to the websites of these agencies, which I've linked in the blog and check out the type of art they're doing. That is step one on finding an agent that could work for you. You wanna see if your art fits in with the type of art that they're currently offering. So some agencies focus really on the fine art side of things. They're doing scenes and paintings and really traditional artwork. Um, some are more commercial and modern. They're really more for stationary products or gift products. You know, there's a wide variety of types of licensing agencies. And so you need to check out these websites and see what type of art they're offering to see if your art might fit into that type of artwork. Once you've determined if the art could fall in line with the agency's current roster, submit your art via the submission process that's listed on the company website or you can get in touch with the email that is listed on their website. Various websites obviously have different amounts of information on them, but you know, submit through any contact information you can find there. And if an agent gets back to you or an agency gets back to you and is interested in working together, that is when you should dig into some deep research. I know some people really try to research agencies before they even submit, but the truth is at this point, getting a licensing agent is pretty competitive. So 
if you narrow it down by the ones that you're you know interested in based on their your art fitting in and submit seeing who gets back to you can really narrow down what you have to research right so if you've got a few companies or uh, agencies who get back to you and are interested in representing to you or even if you only have one you need to do your due diligence so if they're interested you need to talk to the agents or, or their representatives. You need to try to get in touch with artists who are represented by this agent um, or agency and do as much online research as you can. And you should do research in the following three categories. Number one, look at their experience and their track record. Look for an agent that has experience working in the industry and successful licensing contracts for their artists. You know, who are their clients? A lot of times this might be listed on the website. Sometimes it might not be. You might have to ask. Check their client list, check the products that they've licensed in the past. See if they have experience in the markets that you are interested in. Next, communication and collaboration. A good art licensing agent should be easy to communicate with and willing to collaborate with you to achieve your goals. Agents get very busy. They're not always available, but upfront, you should be able to ask them all your questions and get answers to the, those questions. And you should feel a good back and forth happening when you're curious about potentially signing on. They need to be transparent about their processes and their expectations. And you need to be, um, you know, comfortable with the things that they're asking about. Finally, contract terms and commission rates. Before signing with an art licensing agent, make sure you understand any contract terms, commission rates, any other associated fees with working with this agent. Make sure that it is on par with the industry standards of art licensing. I'd say usually um, art licensing commission rates usually range from about 35, maybe even 30% all the way up to 50%. This is how much the agent takes from your royalty commission. And there may be additional marketing fees. So weigh those pros and cons, that information, and look at their terms. When I signed with my agent, I definitely had a lawyer who was familiar with the business look at my contract. I don't hire lawyers for every contract, but for this contract, this is so important because they're the ones who, going to, who are going to be looking over all your additional contracts, all your licensing contracts. So you wanna make sure that your contract with them is standard and that you have a good exit clause if necessary and all, all the kind of things that are, are important to working with an agent. Make sure to review the contract carefully and that aligns with your goals and it protects your right as an artist. So as I've said in other videos and interviews, having an agent isn't a golden ticket to art licensing and success is not guaranteed just because you've got an agent. But working with an agent can be a really great way to set aside some of your marketing efforts and focus on creating the amazing art that you love to do. So head to my blog for a list of all those art licensing agencies that are out there right now from all my research looking into this subject from my own personal research for looking at agents who are exhibiting at shows who are working today for my artist friends and who are uh who are representing my artist friends all these sources that i've pulled these agencies from check that link out because it is so so valuable if you are interested in art licensing agent <music>